today I'm in the bustling centre of Tumagna, and a lot's been changing recently on the high pavement, including the opening of this brand new deli, with an interesting name. I'm James. And I'm Ria. And together we are yeah. Jars. Jars. James and Ria's. Yes. Yeah. Last year was a difficult one for the family. We got our dad. Um, and two days after, we went out for a lunch at Lazy Lobster. And then when we left Lazy Lobster and went for a walk with the dogs, we saw like a fillet sign outside, um, just scribbled down on a piece of paper in the window. And James was sort of, wouldn't it be great to do something? Like we've always, James always wanted to do um, some kind of coffee type shop. So we gave him a call like, a couple of weeks later. Fate played a hand as the landlord was, surprisingly, the father of an old school friend of James's. And it turns out they have the perfect complementary skills. I'm, I'm sort of a creative mind being in music and I've got lots of ideas but it's kind of business side maybe, like financial things I lack and like the, you know, the actual things that kind of string a business together and make it functional and like what really you know, has what I lack in, you know, skill, those skills she has. Yeah. Ria is a management accountant. Hiya, can I get two cups But James is more used to touring the world. You're actually a musician, isn't that right? Yeah, I'm a saxophone player, yeah. yeah. And quite a successful saxophone player, I hear. I get, I'm lucky to make a living, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Most of my work is touring so these days. So, in a funny way, has Covid played into all this? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was a combination of of losing dad and doing something nice to commemorate him and the other half of it being I can't work at the moment. Yeah. So what happens when the music scene kicks off again? I think I'll be more choosy like at what work I do, tours that make me happy rather than just like a financial gain. Yeah. Um, plus I've, I've yeah. got young, you know, young kids now as well. Kids. Wow. Seems like two. But you yeah. yeah, so you know, I don't want to be away for heaps of time. James and Rhea both feel very at home in the Chew Valley. We both grew up in Dundry yeah. um, with mum and dad. And yeah, that's, that's, that's home, even though I've not lived in the Chew Valley for a long time. It always resonates with you. And you know, you're, you're from here, we went to school in Chew Stoke, we went yeah. to school in Chew Valley, she's got horses in the valley. Yeah, I've, yeah. All my mates, you know, in Bristol, like a lot of them are from, you know, we all grew up in the Chew Valley together. Yeah. The deli offers a wide choice of fresh veg, bakes, cakes, and a whole range of refillable items, including oat milk. But I wondered, what was their best seller? Chocolate Brazil nuts. Yeah. I've noticed that. <laughs> I meant to get yeah. some for my wife, and you've yeah, run out. Yeah. go. And I thought we had loads of stuff with them, but it turns out we sold them all again. Coffee's really popular. Yeah. And, it wasn't and like that's a, amazing, considering you're outside moon dance. It wasn't, it was, this is just like my home. This was in my kitchen, so it's just a massive passion of mine. So I just thought, let's have it in the deli. Yeah. You know, maybe for ourselves, because I just want a coffee in the morning, but it, it's proved very popular now. I have to say, I mean, you haven't got a lot of space here, but you've used it amazingly. I mean, Next project's the garden, yeah. so we can have lots of seating. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. yeah. That'll be, that's never yeah. been used as far as I'm aware. No, no, because no, the travel agents before, it was just cool. literally the office. This imaginative young brother and sister have helped change the face of Chew Magna as we look forward to a better year ahead. I wish them well, and with any luck, I'll be enjoying a slice of cake in their garden this summer.